slowly starting to water now. Hello everyone. Happy Halloween. So I've been trying to put this candle on for the past 10 minutes and it's not working in oh there you go oh, welcome back my name is Sally if you are new to this channel today I did not have anything planned for Halloween today is Halloween it is October 31st it is the last day of October and I am very excited but at the same time very sad because spooky season is almost over we have Three hours for it to be done. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I'm ready for the turkey, for the ham, the mashed potatoes, everything. In today's video, I will be showing you guys my October wrap up, and I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about all the books that I read for the month of October for spooky season, and I will be creating a zombie look while talking to you guys about my wrap up i'm also getting a bit sick hopefully i don't basically for the month of october i finished reading four books i actually have it on my bullet journal here and i finished reading four books bag of bones by stephen king goblet of fire by jk rowling the harry potter book order of the phoenix harry potter book and Snow White, which is a graphic novel, which I finished like in 15 minutes. I actually had eight books on my TBR and I finished half of it. So I feel like it's not that bad. Last month I had, I finished reading, I forgot how many, seven, six books out of seven, which is, which was way better. But the Harry Potter books are very long and I basically lasted like two weeks with them each, which made it four weeks and... I just tried to jam in the last books towards the end of the month. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I finished reading this today, um, but that counts, right? Now, let's start with the makeup. Let me put the lighting here. Hopefully that looks good. Okay, cool. I'm going to have my mirror here. So the first book that I read was Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. And that one is actually the fourth book of the series, of the Harry Potter series, where Harry returns for his fourth year in Hogwarts. Along with his friends Ron and Hermione, for if you have already read the books, um, you pretty much know the characters already. But we are introduced to more characters, which is Cedric Diggory, and I'm not going to spoil it for you guys who have not read the Harry Potter series. I feel like this one was very sad at the end. I mentioned in one of my videos already, um, Goblet of Fire made me love the Harry Potter series and I wouldn't, I'm not going to change my opinion over it because it was just so darn good, even if it made me cry so freaking hard. For this book, there's an upcoming tournament where you have to be 15 years or older or 16, I forgot, to enter and Harry mysteriously is injured. Now he says that he did not enter and people like tell him, like ask him, how did you enter? How did you enter? But he denies it that he did not enter. And at the end it tells us who, who put him on the tournament and so on. So Goblet of Fire is introduced with a lot of murders, which J.K. Rowling gives us an idea that this book is going to be very dark, which was, which it really was darker than the other ones. Holy shit, I'm supposed to be doing my makeup. I really can't be talking at the same time. Holy crap. Okay, so this is the thingy. Okay, I'm going to start doing it. I'm just going to say that the Harry Potter series, they start getting darker. They start getting super duper good. Now, I can't, I'm, I did start reading um, the other book, the seventh book, I, no, the sixth book, yeah. I started reading the sixth book already and so far, so darn good. For the month of October, I also read The Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. What is this? I'm just going to do this super fast. Should I use a brush? Yep. So if you have read The Goblet of Fire, you already know what happened during the tournament, who, what deaths occurred, and there was another tragic death on The Order of the Phoenix, which 
made me absolutely cry my guts off and it was just very sad it's just gonna work I shouldn't have even worn makeup JK Rowling is a great writer she's very descriptive she includes a lot of description um, to her characters and especially Hogwarts Hogwarts is just very um, vivid Order of the Phoenix we find out um, Snape's truth, what occurred to him when he was a teenager, which is very awesome and I really like how the story is going through that. It's amazing. Yeah, what are your thoughts? Do you like The Order of the Phoenix better? The Goblet of Fire better? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I think that's enough. So in the beginning of the Goblet of Fire, we're going to talk about it a little bit in the, in the introduction. Harry has a pain on his lighting bolt scar on his forehead and it demonstrates that Lord Voldemort is gaining his strength back. When Harry feels this pain, he writes to his godfather, Sirius Black. And then Harry is rescued by Ron once again and he takes him to the Quidditch World Cup. And a lot of stuff happens during that World Cup. In the night of the Quidditch World Cup, there is a prank made by several people with robes and masks on who were former Death Eaters formed by Voldemort. really enjoy um, Hermione, how she wants to save the elves from working. And she feels that the house elves are basically slaves to the wizarding family and she wants to do something about it. I really like that part because Hermione, she's just like very nice and she cares about other people. But Harry and Ron, they don't seem very like content about that. And they keep on telling her that the house elves are very happy to be servants, that she shouldn't be forcing them to do something that they don't want to do. So we're gonna be using this blood and just gonna put it on this little container right here. Enough of Harry Potter, now we're gonna be talking about the graphic novel the graphic novel that I finished reading and I read Snow White which takes place in the modern world in the New Depression era in New York I really liked it actually the graphics are very like nice And the dwarfs, they're actually boys who each of them are very similar to the dwarfs in Snow White. At the end, they even, they have like different names. It was very, there were very good changes. I really enjoyed reading it and I really loved all the graphics that were on there. I show how um, Snow White's stepmother, she killed, she po poisoned her dad and um she took over snow white's um room and how she sent a man to kill snow white but the man said to just like disappear that happened in the original which they put on here it was very interesting to see like snow white in the modern world it was just very interesting and i think i would give it a four out of five rating stepmother she poisons snow white when she eats an apple and she finds her prince charming so it's basically very similar and but it's just in the modern world i can't wait to read more graphic novels maybe i could find one in the future for october i also read a bag of bones by stephen king and i have to hurry up I'm just going to put this up here. Oh shoot! This actually looks very good. Whew! That pokes me. That's po poking me. I'm probably getting like a My eyes starting to water now. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna use a brush. 
Okay, I read it was Bag of Bones by Stephen King. And I absolutely started reading this book hating it. Just because it was like very slow paced, it was very repetitive. And I understand that the main character, he was going through uh, through grief and his wife died. Um, four years pass, he's, he's a writer by the way, and four years pass, some stuff starts happening. There's, it talks about ghosts and there's something really creepy going on in the lake where they bought their house. So once the creepy stuff starts happening, that's when I started enjoying it. Started picking up the pace and it was scary. Um, I really want to watch the movie of the Bag of Bones. Hopefully I can do that. I think that that was the spookiest book that I read for this month. I, d I probably didn't read that much spooky things this month as I wish I had. Because I was basically reading Harry Potter books and they took me way too long to finish reading. But that's totally fine. I don't know how to rip these apart. Do I need scissors or something? Slowly. This is definitely going to be messy. Oh, snaps. Please dry. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Is that cool or what? Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so back of to back to bo bag of bones. This is like a shot. Like someone tried to shoot me. Well, they shot me. There's a bullet there. There's blood coming out, and I turned into a zombie. Or I was a zombie already, but someone shot me. Let's put more blood. Oh, snaps. Let's put more blood here. <laughs> Points. I get poisoned after this. I'm so it's still dripping. Okay, I'm back, guys. I'm actually bleeding. I'm a zombie. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Should I put more blood? I think we should. We're gonna put some black lipstick as well. I get poisoned with this. It's a very bad idea talking about my TBR because it's very hard to multitask while doing your makeup. Yeah, but Bag of Bones by Stephen King. I think it was very slow paced in the beginning, but then it starts picking up as soon as it starts with the spookiness and like the ghosts and everything that's haunting the lake because there has been a lot of deaths there. Oh my god, is that falling on my eye? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't. There's been a lot of little boys who have drowned and he then meets Maddie and her daughter. Maddie is a 21 year old who is grieving as well. Her husband died. Cool. Am I cool now? So he decides to move back to his house in the lake and he starts thinking that his wife was cheating on him. He found out that he she had a pregnancy test on the day of her death um, because she was she went to the store and she brought a pregnancy test and she had a heart attack what the <laughs> fuck are you doing and he starts hearing voices there's magnets on the refrigerator that start moving zombie needs to get some dr pepper is this man called Devor who wants custody of her little girl and Devor is her ex hu her husband's father who is freaking evil hope that I could read more books for the month of November that's basically 
all for today. That was my wrap up for the month of October while creating this zombie look. It's very bad. <laughs> It was just very fast. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. And hope you guys have had a good Halloween. Bye!